Gary Neville has criticized Manchester United's handling of the Mason Greenwood investigation, describing it as pretty horrible and lacking effective leadership. The 21-year-old Greenwood is set to depart the club by mutual agreement after a six-month internal inquiry. This decision follows the dropping of charges against him, which included accusations of attempted rape and assault, back in February. Former Manchester United defender Neville, who amassed 602 appearances for the club expressed his perspective on Frontline News TV Monday Night Football. He noted, from the very beginning, it was evident that he wouldn't be making another appearance for Manchester United. However, the process leading up to this point has been quite distressing. When faced with significant and challenging circumstances like this, what's essential is strong and authoritative leadership. Unfortunately, Manchester United seems to be lacking in that department. Neville's fellow pundit, Karen Carney, who is a former England midfielder and headed a comprehensive review of the women's game, also weighed in on the matter. She commented that the handling of the situation was subpar and made her feel uneasy. Greenwood, an English international, was arrested in January 2022 due to allegations involving online content. In a statement, he acknowledged his errors and accepted responsibility but firmly denied the accusations leveled against him. Manchester United released a statement affirming that, based on the available evidence, they concluded the online content did not present the complete picture, and Greenwood did not commit the offences for which he was initially charged. They acknowledged the challenges surrounding his return to the club, and all parties recognised these complexities. Originally, the results of the investigation were slated to be announced ahead of Manchester United's opening Premier League game against Wolves on August 14. However, this decision was postponed due to intense deliberations regarding Greenwood's potential reintegration into the club. The club clarified that they intended to consult with their women's team, some of whom were part of England's World Cup squad competing in Australia, prior to reaching a decision about Greenwood's future. In an open letter addressed to the club's supporters, Manchester United's chief executive, Richard Arnold, explained that the club had limitations in conducting investigations and had to rely on external cooperation to gather evidence for establishing facts and context. He also mentioned that reintegration had been one of the potential outcomes they had considered and planned for throughout the six-month process. Carney further criticized Manchester United for their handling of the situation, deeming it a poor reflection on the club's identity and values. She pointed out the confusion and contradictions stemming from official statements, the involvement of various stakeholders unnecessarily, including female players, and the leakage of information.